Hey, Ferg. Um, yes. The great Mervyn Hughes, of yep. course. You think the Boxing Day test and you think, Merv. You do. You're right. It looks it, like he's already done a bit of work. Is that no, correct? No, no. There was a proper beat up on the on the great man's noggin earlier on. And I, I was wondering why. Um, because obviously, day one, you should be pretty relaxed. You haven't had a huge workload yet. My understanding is he's had one hell of a workload. He's been on since about 7 o'clock. And we've already notched up our first invoice for the Triple M commentary team. Wow. Murphy well, Hughes had a breakfast this morning. You can't guarantee the Pakistan are going to go five days. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm on, a, I'm on a daily rate. I've just got to, I've got to cash in where you can. <laughs> are you front-ending all of these uh, these invoices, are you, Oh, my word. When they said... I, I wasn't too keen before the Perth <laughs> test to do too much, but after the Perth test, I just thought, just say yes to everything. So I've got a lunch on. I'm on a tea room this afternoon. I've got a function on tonight. I'll tell you what, I'm busy as, guys. Well, thanks for fitting us in, Merv. We appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I think I was just looking up some um, some other great Australian sayings, sure, was it? Just to see if you've heard of these or how you feel about them. A roof over the tool shed? No. <laughs> that, that's a belly. Ah, okay. That's okay. Um, that applies to Merv. Okay. Uh, Flash is a rat with a golden tooth. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Uh, there's a couple here that I can't say. Um, flat out like a lizard drink. <laughs> no. No? No. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Means you're very busy. <laughs> Gee, there's a few here that I can't read out. <laughs> Jamal. Full. Cummins pushes into cover. Incredible. Charges like a wounded bull. <laughs> Charges like a wounded bull. Nope. That's expensive. Oh. The place that's expensive. Okay. Yeah, this is, is a butcher's thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning new things, guys. Thank you very much. I really am. It's incredible. As popular as a rattlesnake in a lucky dip. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's quite good. <laughs> So, you know, when my father-in-law said, swing a cat, I said, where the hell am I going to find a cat in Sydney? <laughs> and then swing it. A great story about the Six and Out band back in the day. They were big. Ex-cricketer, well, they were current yeah. cricketers. And Brett Lee was one of the biggest rock stars yeah. in the world on the cricket field. So, Binger had parked his car. Oh, yes. <laughs> with a, he had about 60 CDs on the front seat because he loves his music move. So, he's got in excess, you know, he's got the Rolling Stones, he's got Crowded House, and unfortunately someone broke into his car and stole 59 of the 60 CDs. Which, which the one, one did CD they, they left, six and out. <laughs> <laughs> left it on the car. Oh, that's a slap. In and being it was flat, they didn't nick his own record. <laughs> True story, that. Oh, that's a slap. Ever had to feel down at Bay 13, Moss? Yeah, I did, actually. It's a very funny story, but unfortunately, I can't say it on radio. Can I, though? Yeah. Uh, Anything. The Go. word starts with W. So, in 89, when I was, I've got my six or five wickets, I won't say the word. You guys can guess. Does it rhyme with banker? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, at day 13, I've got Pfeiffer or something. They were calling me that Wazim is... A banker. Yeah, Wazim is a banker. Wazim is a banker. <laughs> and I thought... 7 for 228, outside edge, and that'll be four. <laughs> Carey drops the hands, and it safely rolls to the boundary. And I thought they were praising me, because at the time, I couldn't get hold of the Aussie accent. It was early days in Australia. And I was very, you know, happy and waving them and everything. And then uh, Imran came up to me, my captain. He said, you know, what are they saying? I said, they, you know, you're a good player. He said, no. They're saying you are a banker in Urdu. Explain it to me what it meant. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, hang on a minute. <laughs> Sometimes it's a term of endearment from uh, from the Bay 13 crowd. Is it though? Wow. Well, not always. But if you're playing well against Australia and they are chanting that, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Certainly doesn't apply to the English team. Exactly. They're, they're, they're all bankers. <laughs> <laughs> and once a banker, apparently always That's a banker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the big deck out there around Bay 13, but you know, the, the crowd down there just get, get right amongst it. And late in the day, they're a they little bit well more enthusiastic. They look well refreshed. Full! Get 
Australia have been searching for. Captain Fantastic does it again. Cummins steaming in. Two slips in the gully. Bobby! Knocked him over! Bubba Azam's miserable time in Australia continues. He's got to go. And the champ that is, Pat Cummins, strikes again. Play, but what a delivery from the skipper. Leading from the front. A bit of reverse swing, maybe. We don't know. But uh, the length was the key there. So was the pace. Leading from the front, Pat Cummins. Yeah, good. Ferg, I thought I'd just do the right thing and freshen up the yeah the the headset for Howie. Try and be a good, good teammate. Yep. This Carey would drive down the ground for one. And the reason I raise it is there's been some concerns around headsets in this commentary box over the last couple of years. Yeah. With one particular individual in the team. Go on. Mervyn Gregory Hughes <laughs> has been mandated by our boss Ewan Giles to bring his own own headset in for every test match. <laughs> he's got one labelled Merv. He does. <laughs> Is that because of the size of his head or the amount of spray that comes out of his mouth? <laughs> it's a combination of spray and sweat, I believe. He's lying. Oh, yeah. ball. He told me, June, that he has sweaty ears. And that's he why is. he has to have his own headset. He said, oh, I, get, I get sweaty ears. Right, OK. Well, yeah. how, do, how do you get sweaty ears? I mean, they do cover the entirety put, of the year. Maybe put your mouthpiece down. Yeah. Bergen talking. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. Get the, Someone needs head to teach you how to work properly. the head, head piece, yeah. So just trying to bit of craft through it a bit there. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> but it's interesting because you do cover the entirety of your ear with the, mm. the headset. You get a bit of brawl cream on your hair too, I reckon, this morning. A little bit of product. Oh, mm. that would that'd leave a bit of residue on the top of your head. So yeah, maybe I need to get the... Uh, maybe you need your own one as the well. The wipes as well, mate. Yeah, yeah a bit of... Just a tiny bit of product. Solid product yeah. Not much, but... A little bit. Like, no. Just enough. Just to keep it tidy. Yeah, I know. You don't want it all over the shop. No. Oh, yeah. Good day, boys. Salmon to Lyon. Moved into the offside. Howie. Howie. A single to get him underway. Eight for 2.39. I'll have that discussion about the wicket with you. I haven't heard what you boys were saying, but... Uh, no, that's just about headphones. But then I heard yeah. that. Yes, Merv, Merv, Merv very sweaty ears, yeah? Yeah. Seven for 2.23. Cummins through cover. Nice shot. Got enough of it to come back for two. And overthrows as well. Sloppy fielding from Pakistan. There was a man at the stumps, but it took an awkward bounce off the wicket square. And there was no one behind him. Yeah. If you haven't seen this with Pakistan cricket, then it's not normal. I mean, unnecessary runs, overthrow. They took, I think, four runs from it. Good shot for five. Five they got. Oh, my God. What's going on? <laughs> it's a horrible throw. Let's have a look at the Triple M KFC replay screen. Yeah, I mean, Jamal doesn't look very happy. No. How would you have felt if that happened off your bowling, was? I would have been very, very horrible to them. <laughs> Can't say that on air. Carries 36. <laughs> After the loss of the early wicket, Australia yeah. tracking nicely. Kerry is leaving. Who was the fielder, by the way? I'm not sure. We're all wearing vests this morning, so it makes it a bit hard to see the numbers on their backs. Yeah, and it's not that cold. It's a beautiful bowling weather. It really is about 20 degrees over 20. They're not playing in Antarctica, are they? <laughs> I think it's Hasa it was Hassan Ali. Oh, of course. Hang on, what's going on here? We've got the umpires conferring. Now, we haven't got a bad light situation. Certainly not raining. Are, are they too early? Are they are they out there a bit early? Is that was yeah, that are they delaying be, for? Might be right. You are. Now one twenty six was supposed to be first ball. It's one twenty seven thirty. Oh. Hang on. Now the umpires are talking to the batsman, Warner. Well, don't offer them the light for God's sake. They're gonna, they're going to come straight off. This is going to be really annoying. We've got the test match at a fantastic position, and now we've got the batsmen coming together. With the two umpires. And they haven't got the lights on. That's the other surprising thing. It happened on the first day. They turned them on too late. So what's going on? We're trying to listen in here. I don't know what we can pick up. Now we've got the Pakistan players circling around. Something's gone off here. Now, 
Okay, that's the end of that. What do we have? A prayer or something? Now they're full. now they're going back to their marks, and that's the end of that. Well, that's bizarre. Never seen that. Well, I, 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 I can only assume it's about the life. But you wouldn't have a conference like that where, firstly, they talked to Warner and Smith, and then all the Pakistani players came in, and they're all around the pitch. It couldn't be about the light because normally they bring the, the light meter out and put it on top of the stump, yeah. and we didn't see any of that action. The, the only thing I noticed was both umpires were looking at their watch. Yeah. Well, that would make the most sense. But then everyone's sort of milling around. Anyway, look. And we're still waiting. It just adds to the uh, tension, I suppose. Warner waiting. Hamza will continue from the Warn stand end. He bowled a maiden in his foot. Not a great first over. Shaheen's the man at the moment. He got two wickets at this end, the members' end. So now, oh yeah, looking up, there's a camera oh. shot of something. What are you looking at? Got no scorers. They were just seeing a. Unbelievable. We're, we're, <laughs> unbelievable. We're the seeing scorers. a shot. We're seeing a shot of where the scorers would sit, and they're not there. There are no. This is unbelievable. They are very good lunches at the MCG, <laughs> but I didn't think they were that good. Ethan, quickly jump in. <laughs> unbelievable. We had, I tell you what they need, they need a you and Joel, because Giles, he cracked the whip with a couple of staff members at the end of the line. Absolutely cracked the whip. Yeah, including me. I know you copped that. It's a bad rap for us numbers, sort of. There, there needs to be a, 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 this is absurd. This is actually a disgrace. Can we have that confirmed? It cannot be that the scorers are not in the box. Don't use the left one. I mean, lunch was all right. It's not as if they would have had to race to the brass go. So, uh, it's quite farcical, actually. It's funny, but it's farcical. We've now we've gone four minutes past where we were supposed to start. The Pakistanis, they're itching to get at these Aussies. Yeah. Two for six, three and, overs and, gone. And the light is not that bad. So, it's, it, as I say, it's not a light thing. The, the light, it, it's, not, it's not a bright day here, but it's not a, that bad a day either. So, they haven't even got the, the major lights on. By the way, Discovery Park holiday with your family is the best way to spend summer. Switch from uh, bushwalking to... Is it beach combing or beach... Com what is it? Beach... That's the word here. How do you say that? Beach uh, combing. Beach combing yep. to bush... I've never done beach... What is beach combing? I think is it just strolling along the beach? I know what's going on. What's it? The third umpire is stuck in the lift. Ah. Is that right? Well, our sincere apologies to the scorers. Well, I was going to say, Mike Walsh is one of the scorers here. It's his 100th test match. And there's no way Walshie wouldn't be there. No. Walshie was a, yeah. came a, he was a scorer on a couple of Ashes tours that went on. And it's his 100th test match uh, as a scorer. So Richard uh, Illingworth is stuck in the lift. Yeah. How'd oh. you pick that up, Hads? Just did the research here at Triple M. Well done. We've got a big team behind the scenes to do all the work. But I'll tell you what, I hope he's not claustrophobic. Imagine if you're stuck in the lift and there's one where you're 15 people are coming back from lunch. <laughs> here he comes. We're just seeing him. He's going to be there faster to the Richard. There we go. That's not him. Is that that's another one? That's, 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 the fourth, that's the fourth. That's there's, the fourth there's a reserve umpire. <laughs> Still in the lift. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> so we take back everything you said about the scorers and Mike Walsh. Yep. <laughs> and he's a palm. It's even better. Mike Walsh. That's not the old. <laughs> that's not the host of the old uh, no, talk show host. No, is it? No, Mike no. Walsh. No. God, that would be a career. Yeah. Wow. Well, well, there you go. Never fails to surprise cricket. And we have yeah, have delays for all sorts of things. We've lost six minutes. I mean, we'll wake them up at the end of the day. <laughs> but we've lost six minutes because yeah, we've got to the play third up has got stuck in the lift. We're now playing at 11.32pm tonight, are we? Is that what's <laughs> right. happening? 